Welcome to the 10 Minute Treasure. My name is Jeff Pospisil. And in this video, I'm going to share with you what I just learned. I had always wondered how people make those Google Maps that mark all the different locations. And I just had to do that for a client of mine, the Upper Midwest Global Methodist Church, to go ahead and map all their churches. But I thought, too, could this be used to create like a, um, a map of all your church members? So that's what I want to show you today. It's it's going to be a lot easier than you thought. All right, here's where I actually created a map for the Upper Midwest Global Methodist Church that they put on their website. They wanted this to be public so that people could find churches. And you can see, you could map it out. And you're going to see, a, I have two different colors here. Well, why is that? One of the things that's kind of handy, and if you click on this icon here, it'll pop out the legend and you can see I have churches and then those that are disaffiliating and eventually that'll be, um, it'll probably change up. It'll probably be by district or by state or something like that. By state would make a lot more sense. Anyway, um, if I want to, I can expand that and then see all the names. So if I wanted to click on, for example, Bowman, I don't know why it went to Montana. Anyway, Bowman, you can see it lit up right there. And they got a little bit of information here. Um, what's kind of neat is if you, depending on how you set this up, so I set this up and I linked it right to the um, Google information. And so when you click on it, you see the picture, you see the website, you see all the contact information, but, but not all of those had the Google information or sometimes I set it up a little different and the information just didn't come in. So anyway, um, let me go ahead and show you uh, a little bit behind the scenes now. All right, so let's go ahead and start from scratch. Let's just assume that you have a church directory. A lot of times if you have some kind of member management system, maybe it already maps it for you. But if it doesn't, this is what you could do. So you have, hopefully you're able to export all their, their name and address. And I have just saved it in a file called data. So you have to get it in some kind of format like this. And then you have to have a Google account. So a lot of people have a Google account, they're free. And then you could go to the saved. And then over here on the right, right here, it's maps. And now if I wanted to create one from scratch, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new map. You can see by the way that my upper Midwest one right here so I'm going to create my new map, and I'm just going to call it um, Bismarck Friends, because those are all Bismarck addresses. By the way, fake names, uh, hopefully real addresses. I kind of plugged them in there. So and I'm going to rename this layer. You can have up to 10 layers. What they do is they help you, especially when you're trying to um, make everything uniform. So if you have multiple layers, it's kind of nice that way. So I can go ahead and import from my data file. So I'm going to find my data file. It's right here. And it's saying which ones, what will show your position. So I'm going to go address, state, city, zip. And what's showing the name of the location or person? And that's my name. And it's going to load for a little bit. I'm going to change it so it's not uniform, by the way. It'll, um, there's a reason for that because there's a couple of reasons. One is this is the church and maybe I want a different one for my actual church location. So I'm going to choose red. And so now when I look out, I could see, oh, you know, everybody lives pretty much north of the church, which is interesting, I guess, in a way. Uh, what, another thing that you'll notice is that if we open the data table, it, we get this error. And it's saying, oh, this one, Scott and Nina, they have a P.O. box. And so I think I'm just going to make up an address, North, 1318 North 3rd Street. I'm going to guess there is hopefully one there. And yes, there is. So I went ahead and plopped them right in there. So you can go ahead and start right from scratch. And then it's, whenever anybody changes their name, you can add it. If you want to, it, it all depends on, um, on uh, I guess, 
how you want to see them too. I have them by first name. So if I would have had my data file where it would have said um, Pospisil, Jeff, and Betty, then they would all be sorted by last name. Right now they're going to be sorted by first name, I guess. Or actually, I think they're sorted just by by how they were entered in that Excel file. Okay, I'm going to go and show you my Upper Midwest one now. All right, so here we are back at Maps in my save locations, and I'm going to click on it. If I click on Open My Maps, you can see the one that I actually have. But I click on that one, and I'm going to click on Open in My Maps. And now I can edit it. By the way, there's a lot of things you can go up here and edit. So when I click on it, I can click on the title and the description. If I want to have the embed code, I can get that right there. Um, if I wanted to export it, I don't, I don't understand all this stuff. But anyway, I could do, I could do that. Um, here's where I have it set to uniform styles. So I could change it from uniform styles to individual styles. I don't know what sequence number is. I suppose it just populates the number based on how they're entered in there. Uh, individual styles are uniform styles. What I like about uniform styles, by the way, uh, first of all, too. I could also decide what shows up. So right now you can see the names by each of them. So I have it set to names for labels, but I could also do no labels. But I like the names there. If I wanted to change them all real quick, I just go ahead and click on that and I could change them all to that color. Change them back before I forget what color they are. I'm colorblind. Um, one of the things that I wanted to show you is, so one of the things I did is for the Iowa churches, I did an import and I, I don't know if I did it right because what I did is I did add more items and then I was able to get um, an export file and I don't know what I was doing. So everything just showed up with the name and the latitude and longitude. So not perfect, but here's what I normally did. I'm gonna show you by adding the Mitchell McDonald's. All right, so it shows up right here. So it'll show up in your search. And if you find it like that, guess what? That means it's going to be linked to the Google information. So everything's going to be linked. Details from Google Maps. So I can go ahead and add it to my map. And it's in that group, so it has a, the, the cross there. I can edit it so that if I want to make sure it says Mitchell McDonald's, I can go ahead and do that. Um, and now it's right there. So when I zoom out, you can see Mitchell McDonald's is right in my list. So if I wanted to add a picture of the McDonald's, you know, if I didn't have, um, if there wasn't a picture there, I could do that, but I'm just going to delete it. The other thing that I had to do was some of them, some of the churches that I had, they didn't have an actual, um, they didn't have an actual Google location. And that'd be the same way too, if you add a person. So remember we did 1318 North 3rd Street in Bismarck. Oh, I better spell Bismarck, right? So it'll plot that for me. And then again, I can add it. And if I want to then, I, I would change it. So this was Scott and Nina. And so if I was doing like a church directory, even if it was just private, I don't have to make it public, by the way. I can go ahead and add a picture and pull something up. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. So yeah, that's how you do this. And it's, um, I think it turns out pretty slick then. You got a nice map. People could see where everything's located. I could see how that would be useful for a church, especially if you wanted to plot all your congregants. It's a free thing you don't have to pay some service for. And uh, if you wanted to be able to share it, that's where you do it right here. So you click on share and anyone with this link in view is what I set it to. Anyone with that link in view, of course, if you embed it, then they can see it on the embed site because that was right up here. And I could link that there. If you wanted to invite other people to be able to edit it, I think 
you have to do that in a different place. I'm not totally for sure. One other thing I should show you, I, I just saw this before too, is you could change your base map. So if you wanted more of that satellite picture versus the um, map, or if you wanted different versions of the map, you could do that. Anyway, um, definitely worth playing around with, and I hope this has helped. So most of us, we're, we're very visual people, and hopefully that will help you. Um, if you're a church and you want to see where your members are at, or if you're an organization and you want to see where all your locations are at, I think this would be just a really valuable tool for you. Um, I hope this has helped. If it has, like, subscribe, comment, share, and God bless you.